Larry is one of the most difficult characters to play ever created in Zuba. Part of the reason why he's rarely ever played in matches. You don't see very many Larrys, and when you do, they're relatively easy to kill. He's incredibly difficult, technically difficult, and honestly requires a ton of patience before you can actually truly enjoy everything Larry has to offer. Now, I've made two How to Play Larry videos in the past, and well, they've done okay, yet I keep being asked, Zuba King, how do you play Larry so well? Teach me your ways. I've been asking Orangeberry's livestream, I've been asking my own comment section, and the reason I keep being asked, I figured out, is that those videos were absolute crap. And that is why I'm making this video, to teach you how to play Larry, for real this time. So, to start at the very beginning, we're gonna look at items, and obviously there's gonna be a few crucial items you need to have on your Larry. And so, if you don't already know this, Jungle Shoes is a must because of the speed. I really recommend Adrenaline Shot. Honestly, if you have three item slots, put Vampire Teeth and Adrenaline and Jungle Shoes. Okay, guys? Those are the flat items I recommend always for Larry. Because it is so crucial to have speed. And also, with that Vampire Teeth, you are going to be able to grind out that HP. And you pretty much will feel invincible. And with that fourth item slot, go ahead and slap Holy Sandals on there. It's really, really nice to have for when you're fighting higher levels. As for weapon attributes, on the spear, you're going to want max range because with Larry, mobility is everything. Like I said, with the speed, jungle shoes, again, mobility is everything, so jam everything you have into that range. Then after that, go ahead and cooldown reduction, knockback, useless. As for the bow, you're going to want to go range and velocity mostly, but I really just focus on range on everything first. However, with the bow, is a little bit different because... The more range you have, the more spread out his arrow bolts are, so you don't want them super, super spread out, so I do not recommend filling up range all the way. Then just gonna go ahead and overflow into velocity, and last but not least, cooldown reduction. As for shotgun, again, with the range, I don't recommend full range, but pretty close is good enough. And then cooldown reduction, max that out. Velocity is not important with Larry, because 9 times out of the 10, when you use the shotgun, you're gonna be very, very close to your opponent. I'm gonna explain that why in just a minute. The reason Larry is such a difficult character to play, such a difficult character to explain, you find very few high quality how to play Larry guides out there, and I mean my past ones have sucked. But the reason he's so hard to play is because he's not a character like any other. He doesn't play with his active or and stuff, like I mean they're good, but they're not good by themselves. They need to be accompanied by a lot of skill and a lot of practice because Larry is a character that relies not on his ability but his opponent's mind. Guys, Larry is entirely based around trickery and deception. Larry is really one of the only characters that you personally have to control other people's thoughts and emotions while playing as. Guys, the most important part about playing Larry is making sure your opponents have no idea where you are. As you can see, just wipe the floor with that Betsy, because I was invisible, she didn't know where I was, therefore she couldn't prepare for an attack. Guys, Larry messes with people. I'm going to tell you right now. If nobody knows where you are, they're on edge. And if they're on edge, they make mistakes. Guys, think about last time you were stressed out. You probably made a pretty big mistake, didn't you? Or maybe even a small one. That's exactly what you need to be forcing people to do. You need to scare them so that they make flaws. Think about this, if you were to attack a Nyx head on as Larry, no invisibility, what would they do? They'd jump out of the way, shoot you in the face. If they don't know you're there, they're going to boost the wrong way. And guys, if you can master the art of manipulating people's minds, you will conquer as Larry. I'm just going to tell you right now, if you know where a Nyx is going to go, and you go there as you're invisible, you're going to kill him. Watch this. Easy kills. Like, I mean, guys, like, the Nyx has no idea. He's gonna boost down, gonna shoot him, shoot him in the face, dead. See, guys, if you know where the Nyx is gonna go, if you know where the character's gonna go, Larry's easy. As long as you can manipulate that, you're always gonna win every single fight. Now, of course, there's the rare, uh, rare chance that you're gonna fight a level 18, 17, someone way higher level than you, and you know what? You're gonna lose those. But hey, you can't win them all, right? So you're probably thinking, but Zuba King, how do I get around? How do I manipulate people? Well, that's up to you. Honestly, you have to think like your opponent, and I can't help you very much there, but I can tell you how to move around. So one of the most important things about Larry is using his Primal Instinct to his, uh, to his advantage. Again, pr Larry's really good without his Primal Instinct, but of course you're going to want to try to get that as quickly as possible. If you don't have it though, the best way to move around is just to stay in bushes until your invisibility is ready. You turn on your invisible, spin around a couple times, run through bushes, and you know, you get places pretty quickly. Now obviously that's a Henry, and he knows exactly where I am, so that's going to be a little bit harder to deal with. But as for this Nyx, look, I'm just going to stay in bushes and, yep, easy shots. I mean, this dude's already low health and he's only hit me once. So again, without the Primal Instinct, it's a little bit more difficult, but mostly you're just going to want to use bushes to your advantage. 
Now what about sequencing attacks? Sequencing attacks is a big deal with Larry. If you shoot wrong, you're probably going to end up dead. When you're on the offensive, you want to follow a very, very, very strict formula. If you mess this up, it could cost you your life. Now, as with every game, there are exceptions. I mean, what if the player doesn't act like you want them to? Well, then you can adapt accordingly. But the base strategy for attacking is you're going to spear, you're going to aim your shotgun, and you're going to shoot them. And then usually you have your primal instinct or another bush you can run away with while spraying your bow. But I will try to explain my best. See, one of the most important things you, you want to make sure to do with Larry is to aim your shotgun. You don't just want to tap it, because you're going to miss. Because 90% of Larry is mobility. I've told you this before. Mobility is key with Larry, all right? So if you're running really fast and you just tap, your shotgun's going to miss. So yeah, aim the shotgun, because if you miss, yeah, it's really just not a good day for you. Like I said, spear, aim, and then release a barrage of arrows as you run away. You're going to take damage, but that's what the Vampire Fangs is for, right? As long as you play really aggressive, follow the strategy, nine times out of ten, you're going to walk away with the victory. Now, there are cases where, like in this case, I'm running away from a Henry. I don't really have the upper hand because he knows where I am, and that means I'm going to be weaker than him regardless. So there are other options, like with Jades, you don't want to get close to Jades. You're just going to run away and shoot behind you. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. Any Nyx player can do that pretty easily. So, what if you come into a situation like this, where your opponent is a Nyx and they can just run around barriers? That can be very frustrating, especially for characters who don't have a bomb, right? Well, no fear, because there's a pretty easy explanation to this. So what you want to do? Simple trickery. Watch this. I'm an invisible like I'm going to go that way, but in reality I'm going this way and I can just shoot them. Easy kills! I mean guys, trickery is key. Like I said a hundred times over, I'm going to say it again. Trickery is key, shoot the Nyx in the face. Now guys, I'm not going to tell you that you're going to be an expert after watching this video. I really hope it did help, but guys, in the end, Larry is a very, very difficult character that really just takes a long, long time to develop your skills for. I mean, I really sucked at Larry up until now, because honestly, it's all about mental trickery. And the more and more you can learn about the game and how to trick people, the better you'll be. If this video was helpful, please leave a like, and if you have any more questions about playing Larry, leave them down in the comments, and I will be sure to answer them. Anyways guys, peace.